It's always good when a game leaves you wanting more, so jumping from Atelia Aisha into Esker and Lodgy thanks to the new deluxe pack was a treat, especially since it brought back and improved certain Atelia mechanics I love. While new in the way it's a two-protagonist Atelia story, Esker and Lodgy feels a lot like an Arlen 2.0, taking the assignment game flow from Atelia Rorona and making it more achievable, which leads to dividing time between working to get through its main tasks and a large amount of time left over, giving you the means to balance purpose and the freedom to choose who you want to spend time with, what extra tasks you want to do, or try and influence which ending you get. If you're looking to catch up with some of the costs for an Atelier Aisha or experience this assignment-based Atelier game flow finally reach its potential, Atelier Esker and Logi DX makes the assignment idea work, and it's my favorite form of this type of Atelier so far. After choosing your protagonist's perspective from the sweets loving Eska and the Central City Alchemist Lodgy, the journey begins when the pair meet at the start of their new jobs. Set to work in the humble town of Colsate's R&D department, the two are hired as alchemists to help realize the town's goal of investigating the nearby unexplored ruins, and in order to do that, Eska and Lodgy are given assignments every four months to help them prepare and learn the skills they'll need. As the pair very quickly put together with very different alchemy skills, the journey of Eska and Lodgy sees them grow together as a team and as friends, with lots of subtle relationship growth as the story progresses. And throughout the three years, you see them grow as a pair and as alchemists, and the relationships that grow in the lively atmosphere of the R&D department makes it a fun story to play through. I ended up picking Eska as my character, and she had a lot more lighthearted events that Atelia fans would be used to. Before writing this review, I also took a little time to take a look at Lodgy's side to see if it's that different, as I heard it's geared more towards the RPG player, whereas Esker is more geared towards the Atelier fan, and there's definitely a different tone to be found in both, as it was interesting to see his thoughts at the end of conversations instead of Esker's, as his had a more serious feel to it. Regardless of who you choose, the core story is the same, but some events and endings can be affected by this, along with that internal dialogue, so I think it's probably best to go with whichever character's tone you prefer, as it's what you'll be seeing more as the story progresses. I was happy I chose Eska as I liked her sweet local town girl feeling, but I can see people getting enjoyment for Lodgy as he's someone coming to a town that he doesn't know, which is kind of the player's perspective. In any case, it's an interesting story aspect to see Atelier try that certainly adds a lot of replayability, and I definitely want to do a full Lodgy playthrough at some point, but the quality of the main story should make both sides a good way to see its world regardless. Rather than the goal-based game flow that Atelier Aisha used, Esker and Lodgy does something more like the assignment-based game flow of Atelier Verona, and while that might sound like the same thing as a goal-based game flow if you don't know these two games well, in practice it makes Aisha and this Atelier feel quite different. Rather than being given tasks as the story moves like in Aisha, in Esker and Lodgy you're given a task every four month long term that you must complete or it's game over. To actually get that game over it's much harder than it sounds though, so don't panic if you're one of those people who shudders at the words time limit. The core assignment is usually related to the main story, or either you have to visit somewhere or make an item, so usually you can complete the task in the first week or so of the term, hand that in, and then move on to free time. Free time is where you can do extra assignments or choose if you want to spend time synthesizing, doing preemptive gathering, explorations, battles, quests, or spend time with its fun roster of characters. The amount of free time you have in this game far outweighs how much time you actually do assignments in, which I tried to represent visually by switching costumes every time it switched over to that, which hopefully shows just how much freedom I had as there really was a lot of it. I love the challenge these time limits bring, but I found in this entry I also really love being able to design my own game flow, and while you'll still need to do the typical Atelier I gather, fight, and synthesis steps to do any item-based work, being able to choose which one you want to focus on based on your preference makes it easy to make this an enjoyable Atelier experience. My own game flow ended up being complete the main assignment and all of its sub ones, and was a good way to get to know a little bit of everything from the game. To customize a playthrough even further, you can also use the research mechanic, where you can have the department make features that you're actively using work 
work better, like getting more XP or making travel time shorter, so with everything together, it was enjoyable to try find the best way to progress to try and get the best ending I could with plenty of other smaller goals to work towards regularly. The game is also again helpful at showing what tasks may be worth focusing on with little hints like important things put in the game's memo book or if a scene has voice acting or not is a good indicator of whether something is worth following in the main story. And with this, I was able to ultimately get a good ending which felt like a real feat in my first playthrough of this assignment based Atelia as when I first played Rorona, I definitely got a bad one. The true ending is still waiting for me for whenever I decide to do a second playthrough with Logi and seeing the balance of freedom and having gameplay goals come together makes this feel like it's actually an achievable goal. So the way this game balances freedoms, goals, and plenty to do makes it a lot of fun to play with. The actual systems in Atelier, Esker, and Logi aren't overly different from the turn-based and grid-based alchemy systems of Aisha, but have been expanded in ways in this game that makes them even better this time. After you're given your assignment, you usually have to travel on the map to do something or gather, with the gathering system in this one reverting back to the standard Atelier gathering, which removes the staying in one spot element that Aisha had that makes gathering feel quick and smooth again, even if you do have to be a little more mindful of enemies. Finding enemies in battle will feel more familiar to those who have played the last one though, but some UI tweaks and new support commands make this one feel a little more complex this time. A lot of the best support mechanics I unlocked later in the game, so I don't want to spoil them, but there's a focus again on chaining attacks together to deal as much damage as possible that made this system very engaging, and its different support moves you unlock can make you feel really powerful once you learn the best ways to exploit them. And while it wasn't the hardest Atelier I've played, at least until its late game bosses came in that truly gave my party a run for its money, it does feel good to use the active support parts of its system right. Once you've gotten all your materials from fighting and gathering, you can synthesize back at the Atelier, which is where Esker and Logi's unique alchemy skills both have a chance to shine. Eska is the cauldron using alchemist that Atelier fans will be used to and is who you'll probably make a majority of your items with, but Logi is still a meaningful part of the duo as the guy who can use special techniques from the more modern alchemy-based central city that can do a few cool things that you discover a few assignments in that are great for discovering new recipes and getting stronger. Both their core systems share the same base alchemy system, which this time for whatever reason switches out having a number quality counter for items into an effect bar, which means you can't look forward to making that quality 999 bomb like you would in other Atelias, but you can use synthesis skills again to fill that bar more easily to make powerful items. And if you master doing that and using elementals, you can make some pretty strong and unique items. All of this is on top of smaller systems like a quest system that rewards you with candy that you can give to the humunculi who can do the extremely useful task of duplicating items for you and this atelier is the earliest I've seen duplication used in the game and it feels good to have it as it makes fulfilling quests easier and filling your inventory much more meaningful. All of these systems intertwine to help you use all of your time smarter rather than using up all of it and it's little things like the new synthesis skills and duplicate that take out some of the time-wasting tasks that make these time limit games harder. So in Atelier, Esker, and Logi, I'm pleased to say the new takes on its systems really do make it easier to use your time well, and it's probably my favorite of the assignment-based Ateliers thanks to how well everything works together. Being the DX version of Esker and Logi, like the other Deluxe Atelier games, it boasts HD visuals, the DLC coming from the original, including costumes, and a very full roster of party members. And these extra features have Esker and Logi feeling like a content-filled game from the start that gives you no shortage of things to do. However, like I also said in my Aisha review, since this is a remastered game and not a new one, there are a few errors included here and there that made it into this new release, and in this entry they were a little more noticeable at times, but I want to stress that it wasn't that often. These errors tend to be in word phrasing that either says too much or not enough, such as not mentioning where an assignment will come up as being completed, or having slightly off item names which had me reference guides a couple of times. You'll only encounter these depending 
which quests you end up doing, so some players may not even see them, but they're worth being aware of in case you find something that doesn't make sense, as it's probably just better to look it up. Aside from that, once you know what you're doing in the game, the quick load times make it easy to do a lot in a short amount of time, so I found myself enjoying getting lost in its assignments and all the little tasks in between, as I was having so much fun. The other assignment-based Atelier, Atelier Rorona, was one of my favorites for a long time, and Esker and Logi feels like Rorona, but better. So I'd say my overall experience with Atelier, Esker, and Logi was pretty positive, and I look forward to the next time I get to challenge its fun, assignment-based world in the smooth and beautiful version, and I've actually already started getting into a Logi playthrough in my free time because I just enjoy this kind of game flow. Atelier Esker and Logi takes the assignment formula from other ateliers and does it right, with a more lenient time limit that lets you enjoy its world and expanded systems more. Getting to know its fun costs while getting satisfaction from completing tasks big and small was a lot of fun, and the amount of choice you have in the world after you complete its core assignments allows you to really get to know it, and I enjoyed the amount of freedom I had to explore whichever aspect that was catching my eye at the time. For those continuing in the Dusk series or those who like the sound of a softer version of a time limit based atelier, Atelier Esker and Longi is a great and memorable atelier thanks to the thought put into making this kind of game flow work. And I'm sure I'll come back to Esker and Longi DX soon to try and master the time limit the absolute best I can. And I'm glad this type of atelier can have a chance to shine thanks to this high quality re release. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you'll try Atelier Esker and Logi, and if you already have, what did you think of it? You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here, and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below, and until next time, thank you, bye!